I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to the Road to Glory. It has been quite a while since I made one of these, uh, in fact I can't remember the last day it was, I say quite a while, maybe it wasn't even that long ago, a few days at least, but still... Um, I'm back because there is something to do. I know, right? Uh, I know I could have, like, been doing stuff. Um, so, for instance, I could have just been showing you gameplay and me going after certain objectives and things. But to be honest, I'm not going out of my way to do these cards because they're not cards I'll use on this account. I mean, I could complete them. And then I could use them for SBCs or maybe get a couple of games out of them or something. But it's not really something that I care that much about. Like Champions, uh, I was going to say Champions League, Weekend League just gone. Uh, I got to six wins and stopped. So tomorrow's rewards are going to be one player pick, 88 max. I'll have a, a bunch of packs to open as well. And I'm hoping that there's going to be a community team of the season pack or SBC tonight. So, I will be, a, I'll be guaranteed a, a community team of the season card. As opposed to today, where we're going to be guaranteed an EFL uh, team of the season. And I would imagine it's going to be someone like Henry or Curtis or something, or Dabo maybe. Um, but, hey, you never know. We might get one of the big ones. I would really like Mitrovic. I don't know why. He's not that expensive, but I would really like him. So, yeah, I could have shown you gameplay from like the few games of Weekend League that I've played. Same goes for maybe unlocking one of these. I could have gone out of my way to unlock one. But like I said, I'm not that bothered about them on this account. Um, even though this is still the road to glory. And we are still trying to progress through to, to get some good players and, and the best players and the players that we want to use, etc, etc. I'm not necessarily going to go out of my way to do things that I wouldn't normally care about. So like I said, to ram. And, uh, and and the other players in there, I'm not that bothered about them, so I'm not going to do them. I'll show you if I ever complete an SBC, like Watkins, if I wanted him, I would have done it. Akadi, I have been thinking about it, but I think I'm not going to bother, because I just can't really see me playing with him that often. So, um, I'm kind of hoping for some sort of like Matweedy at some point, because Matweedy would be really good. I do really like Matweedy in this game, uh, but I need a better version of of that card. They have dropped um, a new league player. Was it the championship? Uh, it was a lead centre-back, right? So there's going to be a fourth player. So there's White. He looks insane. But I'm, as you can see, I mean, I'm 14 teams off. I wouldn't say that I'll never do it, but not anytime soon. I did a whole host of bronze and silver upgrades yesterday. I mean, like, I did, I think, 90 together so you know like 40 of them and, and 50 of them of the silver i did more silver than bronze because i have more silvers in the club than i did bronze because i've been saving the silvers for ages not for any particular reason just longer than the bronze i'm going to be doing because these are available for two days i'm going to be doing an awful lot of bronze pack method over the next few days and then i will do an awful lot more of the upgrades ready to complete some leagues it won't be every league um I'm not sure which ones I'll do. Like, I'll do Bundesliga if I get close enough. If if not, then I'm, I'm not bothered. I have packed a few Dusseldorf players. I think I've got one or two Union Berlin and Paderborn untradables. So if I can get enough, maybe I'll spend 20, 30k to finish it off. Fine. Um, same with the French League. I went through it yesterday. Managed to complete like five or six teams just from the silvers and bronze I got from the upgrades. So not too far away from that, but I'm not going to complete them until, of course, they drop the fourth player, the team of the season player. So for right now, we could complete this and get Cyprian, which is all well and good, but they will drop a team of the season card soon. So we'll wait. You know, I'll try and get through as many as I possibly can, get them to within one team and then just leave them there until they drop the... Um, yeah, the, the final card that I need. Speaking of the final card that I need, I need to submit. Makes no sense. But I wanted to submit the EFL team of the season so far, SBC. There it is. That's the players. Those are the players that I'm giving up. I'm all right with it. Um, I need to re-kick this, uh, this account into gear, really, because I've been using an awful lot of the 
just players, just any players that I want in any SBC have not been paying any attention to League SBC or anything. So now that I want to try and, I'm not going to like start it again where I'm just going to grind and grind and grind. But I do want to get it to a point where there are some leagues ready to finish and complete and submit when EA drop the team of the season card in that particular league. So I'm going to need to start using cards that don't have league SBCs just in case those are one of the leagues that I want to do. Now, I am going to be opening a few silver packs here today. Um, not many, just two or three, and then we'll get into the rest of them. Reason being is because there are a lot of EFL. In fact, I think most of, if not all of, apart from maybe Mitrovic, uh, they all have silver or bronze bases so there is still a chance of packing a team of the season in a silver pack. So by doing the upgrades yesterday, I was hopeful that I could pack some cards that would... Um, some team of the season cards, obviously, that have bases of silvers. But unfortunately, I didn't pack any. I opened maybe 20k's worth of bronze cards. Uh, bronze packs, sorry. And then I did the upgrades and I didn't pack any. So, you know, it is what it is. But I'm sure I will pack some at some point. Just having a quick scan through, nothing. Apart from, like, I've, I've packed an awful lot of uh, Sudamericana Libertadores cards. So that's going to go down well when I go back and complete those. Because I haven't done those in a little while either. So when I go back around and complete those, um, yeah, we'll have an awful lot of packs to open. Some 88s as well to submit into something. So I did one 82 to, 82 to 88 upgrade. And then I got really tired and turned everything off and just went to bed. Uh, did the 380 plus players, we'll open that in a second, and of course, the guaranteed player that you just saw me submit. I've got a mixed players pack. I do have like a prime electrum and maybe a small rare gold players pack and things like that as well. So we've got some decent packs to, I mean, arguably end the episode. Like I said, ages ago, another uh, Libertadores card. W what I'm going to do with these Road to Glories is I'll only make them if and when they're viable to make. So for example... Um, today we had an EFL team of the season card or pack to open, so I thought that that was um, that would warrant making an episode. Same goes for tomorrow with rewards and potentially a community team of the season pack, and then of course on Friday when we have a brand new um, team of the season drop, maybe there'll be a reason to make one then, and, and so on and so forth. You know, only ever when there's a point. And of course, I will show you some gameplay. I think I was meant to show you gameplay in today's episode, but um, it's been a little while since that's happened, so everything in my mind is reset. And to be honest, I've not really been playing on this account that much. Uh, I don't even know at what point the um, my rivals' points are. I don't know what level I'm at. I don't know what division I'm in on this account anymore. It's all a bit up in the air. I've been playing most of my FIFA on my two other accounts, uh, which is... Unusual for, for one of them in particular because I never do SBCs on there, but I've been playing an awful lot on there. So I apologize for that. Um, once once I get sort of, I would say once I get back into rhythm, the issue that I've got right now is that I'm just churning reviews, right? And this account isn't really built for it. Like I've got coins on it, sure, but it's for road to glory purposes. It's not for buying players. Let me open this 82 to 88. It's not for buying players. And reviewing them and then selling them on. Hey, we're going to get a board. That's a novelty. It is a Team of the Week walkout. Not bad at all. Uh, Tadic? Is that Tadic? Was he 84 86? One or the other, right? 86. That's pretty good, considering that was just a, a whatever I had left in the club. I can do more of those. Uh, the, the slightly annoying thing about it is, of course, is um, you use seven gold cards... Rare and on rare doesn't make a difference. And then the, the other four cards come from wherever, right? So I've been using like bronze or silvers. I don't have any left because I've just done them all in the upgrades. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit to do more of those 82 to 88. Only like a few hours until I can rinse bronze pack method a bit more. Uh, and then we'll be good. But um, those 82 to 88 are very good value if you've got bronze and silver cards in your club to make up the, the numbers. Uh, what do we have left here? Small rear. Let's open the Prime Electrum. I am a big fan of these. We know that. We know that I'm a big fan. We are going to get a board. And it is a team of the season. And it's a walkout as well. I don't know. It's Hungarian. Gul Gulak Gulakshi? That's the only team of the season, Carl, I've packed this year. And I'm happy about it. Don't care if he's untradeable. Don't care if he's tradable. That's my first team of the season in... FIFA 20 that didn't come from a guaranteed team of the season pack, I might add. I've opened a lot of packs, 
since the beginning of team of the season whether it be on this oh it is tradable nice uh, on this account and on my main account on my other account and i didn't get one i mean say a lot of maybe maybe a hundred packs collectively which may be a lot to some probably not to others i'll keep him for now because i think he's only going to go up in rating uh, in value sorry because of the rating and when ea drop more sbcs uh, for for players i think he'll just start to creep up just because he's an 89 rated card but uh, there we go. He might dip initially when EA released the community team of the season pack. But he will creep back up again. 388 plus rated players. I probably was saying something and I've completely forgot. My train of thought is gone. No board there. Not surprised. Those have been bad across two accounts. I've seen a few people get like team of the season uh, players from those. But no, oh, we got a board. But it didn't count because of the Libertadores card. Got a lot of those though. Should be able to go right through. Um, I'm actually going to open the EFL team of the season player pack first and then the small rare gold players pack because this is, I mean, apart from a couple like Phillips, for example, is the best one. Uh, ben Rama would be a good one. Mitrovic I want. And then there, um, there are a couple of others, but mainly those, those three or four. So here we go. Let's get it open and get ourselves Henry or Curtis. I mean, I put money on it. Henry, Curtis or Dabo, right? One of those three. Do, oh, it's the goalkeeper. Yeah, no, okay, I, I'm all right with that. I know he's not worth anything, but I actually do really like this goalkeeper in real life. I think he's a um, pretty damn good keeper. Made some really good saves this season. Uh, one, I can't remember what, who was it against. It was such a good save. It was like a double save. It was insane. I think he did two double saves in the same match. Um, not sure if he got an inform for it, and I don't know how much he's... Yeah, he's, he's not selling for anything, but I'm all right with that. He's the price of the SBC. I'm okay with it. Good, good, decent goalkeeper. And what it comes down to is the small red goal players pack. This is untradeable. So if we could pack, I don't know. I actually really wouldn't mind Sergio Busquets. Again, not expensive, but I would really love a Sergio Busquets. It is a board. It looked like, that looked like a white thing. I got, for a second, for a very, very brief second, I thought it was a special item of some sort because it was really bright. But then when it didn't do the whole, you know, one light flash thing, I thought, right, well, that's the end of that then. Unfortunately, nothing good in that pack. But we packed a team of the season outside of the guaranteed pack. So I tell you what, I'm not going to discard him. I'll use him in an upgrade or something. Uh, there's no point discarding him. It will be a waste because he doesn't go for anything as he's untradeable. But there we go. Starting to go through a few things. I've had that Fabinho for so long. And I keep forgetting to adjust the price. He's not worth 15.5k. He was when I originally listed him. Like a month ago. But he's not now. Same with Callahan. He was worth that much because UTL cards were expensive. He's not worth anywhere near that now. He's probably 6k. So I, I need to remember before I um, relist things. But yeah, generally speaking. Um, up to 630,000 coins. We've got ourselves a um, a few a few decent cards, you know that uh, that Gulakshi. I can't never say that guy's name, but that that goalkeeper is pretty good. Um, in terms of the icon swaps as well, I am still on course to pick up Dalglish, which is. Um, uh, 16 tokens. I mean, I was a deliberate in between Rush and Dalglish, but I do really want that Kenny Dalglish card. Uh, Five-star week for four-star skills. Just insane stats. I mean, to be fair, they're not really that insane compared to some of the cards that are coming out, but it's Dalglish at the end of the day, you know what I mean? I was tempted, though, to just do the Prime Icon pack, which I think I can probably complete now. I'm not I'm not going to complete it now, now, but I mean, I, I think I could. I think I've got what it takes in the club, maybe. Um, okay, so maybe, maybe I don't actually, I don't know, maybe, oh, bugger, press the wrong button, but uh, I, I want your input, right, is there any point going after Dalglish, or should we roll the dice with the, with the, with the, S, with the icon pack, English is difficult, couldn't get my words out, yeah, should we roll the dice with the icon pack, or should we just keep grinding for Dalglish, I don't think I've unlocked any, so I've got 12 and there should be 4 there. Yeah, so I need to get all of the tokens to get Dalglish. Or I need to get 5 of the tokens from the 12, leaving 6. Is there anything? Is there anything for 6 tokens? Yari Lipman was 6. Nah, see Trezeguet 7. Yeah, see I've done it. 
I've done it a bit. Eh. If I'd done the last... It, I left the squad battles one because I'm an idiot and I just left it because I couldn't be bothered and I'll, I'll do it at some point and I just never did it, right? So if I'd done that, I could have picked up either Trezeguet or Gattuso. I would have picked Gattuso. And I could have picked the Icon Pack and I've got Yari Lippmann, of course. Now, I can't do that. So do I spend 16 tokens on Dalgleish which I think is what I'm going to do. Or maybe I could I could get Gattuso. Wait, hang on a minute. No, I could I could afford. Right, hang on a minute. Whoa. So if I've got 16 tokens, there's, there's 12 left. I've got four. That's 16. Yeah. So if I take... Um, yeah, so if I did take him, I'd have nine left. So I know I could do it. I don't know what my... That was bad math initially. Yeah, he's nine tokens. Okay, fine. Sorry, my bad. So I could take the Prime Icon and Gattuso. Because that comes to 16. Or I could take Kenny Dalgleish. Which is just 16 by itself. But it would take me quite a while to get it done. Hmm. I mean, I do really want Dalgleish. I, I do really like Rush. But I, I, I would I would prefer uh, Dalgleish to Rush. Um... So let me know in the comments, and in tomorrow's episode, I'll have a little look at the comments. We'll talk through them. You can let me know what you've managed to get in your Team of the Season packs and whether you've actually packed any of the Team of the Season outside of the guaranteed pack as well because I'm really touch base with you guys for a little while. So tomorrow's episode, we'll do rewards. We'll do the rubbish red pick. If there's a guaranteed community pack tonight, I will open that tomorrow, and we'll do some other packs as well. But also, we may end up doing the, the icon pack. I don't know whether you guys think it's a good idea. I know a lot of you will be like, I'll do what you want to do. But I don't know what I want to do. I just want to know what you would do. Would you take Kenny Dalgleish? Which is probably going to take me at least a week, if not two, to complete. Because it's just time. Doing so many reviews right now. Having the time to go out and do separate objectives to get this is going to take time. Or, I could go and get the... Um, required tokens to pick up the icon pack roll the dice with that have a bit of excitement because i do love a prime icon pack and then of course at the end we could just claim gattuso for the sake of claiming gattuso a lot of people might say i'll take trezeguet instead but i i would use gattuso i wouldn't use trezeguet he would be a card that i mean he's not a terrible card it just doesn't fit the way that i play the game and i have better strikers in my opinion so i just he would be like a a bit part player you know he would only really get a game every now and again for chemistry purposes Gattuso I think would actually slot into the team probably instead of Awa and it would give another link so that we could maybe do more reviews on this channel because I could use the main team and then link in random players like for instance Magidi is one of my favorite cards in this game I can never use him because it's difficult to link him but if I've got a, a good player like Gattuso I could actually get the links so yeah I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do we go for the Icon Pack and Gattuso? Or do we go for Kenny Dalgleish? I mean, arguably, we could get super lucky and pack Dalgleish in the Prime Icon Pack. Then we could go and pick up Gattuso and have, you know, twice the amount of things for our money. But um, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And let me know what you've packed so far through Team of the Season. If you have enjoyed today's episode of The Road to Glory, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for you, and until the next time, Goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.